All right, folks, welcome back. It is the fourth Friday of the month, and that means that we visit with Danny Danko for our Cultivator's Corner. But we're going to do something a little bit different this time. You know, we've changed our show time to 7 o'clock Eastern time, and that's subway time for Danny. So we're going to call him live today in the afternoon and talk to him via Skype so we get the, uh, the added bonus of video. So welcome back to the show, Danny. Thanks a lot, Russ. Thanks for having me. So we won't be able to take live cultivation questions, but folks, if you want to get your cultivation questions answered, you should be listening to Free Weed with Danny Danko every Wednesday night here on the Normal Network. It's uh, Wednesday nights, 8 o'clock Pacific, 11 o'clock Eastern. There's plenty of replays. You can get the downloads at hightimes.com slash freeweed. You can send in your questions uh, via Twitter. Aren't you using uh, Free Weed as the hashtag, Danny? Freeweed is the hashtag, and uh, you can send it to at Danny Danko as well. And, uh, yeah, uh, I'm hoping at some point that that Freeweed hashtag is in the top trending topics of uh, Twitter at some point. That's right. Let's Freeweed with uh, the Freeweed. <laughs> That's how we're going to do it. All right. Uh, so, Danny, one of the things we can talk about today, of course, is uh, coming up in a couple weeks is the uh, High Times Medical Cannabis Cup in Los Angeles. I know you're all getting ready for it there in the New York offices to head out here to the West Coast. We're getting ready here at uh, Rolla J Studios to come bring it to everyone live. Uh, tell folks what they can expect and what they need to get ready for. Yeah, uh, we're really excited about it. We've got a ton of uh uh, panels. We've got a two-day expo uh, patients panel. I've got some cultivation panels. Uh, my colleague Nico is doing uh, a cultivation panel as well. Uh, Andrew D'Angelo and Rick Frommer from Harborside coming uh, to a panel as buyers, and then Kyle Cushman and Swerve as growers. And we're going to talk about uh, high quality, high, highest quality of cannabis from the buyer's perspective or the growers. So. I think it's the first time that we've had the buyer and the grower together talking about how to produce the finest, highest quality medicinal cannabis. Well, that'll be definitely a good education for everyone that's going to check out that panel. And, of course, uh, at these uh, Cannabis Cups, we have all the uh, vendors and the exhibits. Uh, any uh, special ones that stand out to you this year? Uh, well, it's Southern California, so we're going to see a lot of the uh, dispensaries from that area, uh, a lot of the a lot of them with the word Kush in the name. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, we've got a great concert planned for Saturday night, which is Yoto, which is members from uh, String Cheese Incident, and they do a uh, dubstep thing, but we're calling it Dabstep. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Seedless, the band Seedless is performing, and DJ Jacques, who actually does the theme song for my uh, Free Weed podcast. That's right, Free Weed! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, it should be fun, and and I know you're a panelist as well on Sunday, and uh, I, we were even thinking maybe we could do a free weed show uh, live from the studio sometime that week. So absolutely, uh, we'll yeah. be there. We'll be there uh, at a condo all week, so we're setting up to do our live uh, normal show live shows. No reason we can't have uh, High Times crew coming out and join us. Yeah, yeah, that should be fun, and and I I just think it's the first time in Los Angeles. It's L.A. Center Studios. If people want more information, they can go to medcancup.com. But uh, it, it's just going to be great. All the panelists are listed at that website. You can buy tickets there. I definitely recommend getting tickets in advance because, you know, the cash line tends to be pretty long in the morning. So, um, you know, definitely get the tickets now. We've got uh, great surprises planned. We've got uh, Wiz Khalifa just uh, confirmed that he's going to be accepting the Stoner of the Year Award live uh, in person, so that's going to be great. And, uh, you know, we're just hoping to empower the patients and and people, cannabis people of Southern California. And that's part of the uh, VIP party, is that, with, with Khalifa? Yeah, that'll, that'll be the uh, Saturday night. That's part of the VIP party. And then all day, Saturday and Sunday, we've got uh, booths where people can uh, check out all the different uh, amazing products and uh, tons of glass, tons of uh, all the things that you see at, at uh, cannabis fairs, uh, but outdoors in in the you know California sunshine. We hope, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're really excited. It's a great venue, and we've got a cool stage being built and all kinds of cool stuff. They actually film Mad Men at this location. Oh, okay. Interesting. Uh, you know, this is great. These cannabis cups, of course, they started in Amsterdam, the High Times Cannabis Cup in Amsterdam. And then, you know, in 2010, we got to San Francisco. 2011, uh, we expanded to Denver and Detroit. For 2012, where can folks look forward to future cannabis cups? Well, we're looking into all, all kinds of areas. Basically, any place that uh, will have us and where the laws 
are conducive to that sort of thing. Um, so, you know, we're looking uh, at places in other places in Europe, uh, parts of Spain and, and uh, Copenhagen, Denmark, and uh, we're looking at locations in the United States, uh, Maine and Oregon and Washington, basically just trying to see where, you know, what, where we can find a venue and a willing public and willing also uh, law enforcement <laughs> sure, sure. authorities. Uh, any we, confirmations for 2012? I mean, going back to Denver or Detroit? Uh, yeah, we have. Uh, we obviously we've got L.A. coming up right now in uh, February 11th and 12th. We've got Denver, April 21st and 22nd, just right on the heels of the, their big 420 uh, parties that they do out there. And then uh, June for San Francisco. And beyond that, I'm not quite sure, but we're definitely uh, looking to expand the event and bring it to new places and go back to the same places we've been and just keep it going. Yeah, make sure everybody check out medcancup.com for the information. And we'll be streaming live from the event at live.normal.org February 11th and 12th. So if you can't make the trip, you can at least enjoy it vicariously through the Internet. Danny Danko will be there, Nico Escondido. Uh, who else from the uh, High Times crew coming out? Oh, we've got pretty much everybody. Bobby Black's coming out. Uh, our West Coast crew is going to be there. Um, you know, Nico, you mentioned uh, pretty much everybody from the office will be there in one capacity or another. Uh, so, yeah, we're just excited. Los Angeles, here we come. Yeah, and I'm excited. Uh, I've been hearing some uh, rumors or rumor mill stuff of uh, Los Angeles residents, uh, certain celebrity residents who might be attending as well. So we'll keep everybody posted uh, once we know more about that. Have you heard any uh, interesting rumors? I've heard a few rumors here and there. Uh, it's Grammy weekend, too, uh -huh. in LA, so you can expect uh, some of the artists that are going to be in town for that would, would undoubtedly end up stopping by and checking out uh, the expo or the concert. Uh, so, uh, you know, the sky's the limit. A, a lot of the actors who we've featured in the magazine on the cover, uh, they're all out there. They live out there. A lot of the musicians that we've had will be there for that weekend. So uh, we're excited. Yeah. We're, uh, you know, like I said, Wiz is going to be accepting that award. We're going to have our uh, several different uh, Miss High Timeses. And, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be really fun. You know, as, as fast as this is expanding, you know, heading into 2012 here, I mean, can you can you just, isn't it amazing we're having uh, cannabis cups here in America? And and it seems like, the, like you said, the sky's the limit. We're headed into an election year with 2012. Uh, how, how do you see the future panning out for marijuana legalization? Are we, are we almost there, do you feel? Yeah, I do. I mean, I do, I think we're in the final stages, but we need, we need to push harder and we need to put the pressure on, uh, you know, the second Obama administration or whoever it may be, uh, to really send a clear message what the policy is, uh, stick to the promises that were made prior to uh, the election and all the other statements. I think we can get there. I think in the next few years we're going to see we've got all these legalization initiatives. Uh, we only need a few to pass before the federal government has to step up and acknowledge uh, that, the war on marijuana has, is a complete failure and needs to end just like the alcohol prohibition ended in, you know, 37. Absolutely. Uh, now, uh, Danny, as far as uh, cultivation goes, of course, this is Cultivator's Corner. I did want to leave people with uh, at least one or two tips or tricks they should know. And here we are in the winter months, uh, not much going on as far as outdoor planning. Uh, but uh, any tips or tricks people could uh, benefit from here in the winter? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, um, you definitely don't want to have really cold air being brought in during your night cycle when your lights are off because you can really shock the plants if it's if it's below freezing. So definitely space heaters on a uh, timer to come on at, at during the nighttime hours is good if you're growing indoors and you have that problem with uh, cold weather. Uh, outdoors is not out of the question. Right now, in order to get those monster plants that people have, you know, in September outdoors, they start those plants early. And, mm. and if they're from seed, they're started now in flats under fluorescent lights indoors until they are big enough to put out. And that's the only way to get those big monster plants. If people have uh, plant limits, they should be considering, you know, January, February is not too early to start plants that you eventually will end up putting outside in April or May. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, we, we were seeing, uh, watching some of the Jorge Cervantes videos here in our uh, afternoon video blocks and uh, seeing him and the 10-pound outdoor plants that he was showing off. Uh, yeah, those got to start early, don't they? Yeah, they have to start early. They have to be fed properly and watered properly, and they need full sunshine to get to that type of level. But it's not uh, impossible, and it, it doesn't only have to happen in northern Cali either. Yeah, folks, if you're looking for tips on how to grow, how to uh, breed, how to cultivate uh, cannabis, check out the Normal Network in the afternoons. We have videos from uh, Jorge Cervantes TV, who's longtime friend and contributor uh, to High Times. We've got uh, videos from Weed Nerd, a.k.a. Subcool, that we're showing on Tuesday nights. And, of course, every Wednesday night here on the Normal Network, Free Weed with Danny Danko, High Times Presents. Uh, you can catch it at hightimes.com slash freeweed, or join us here every Wednesday, 8 p.m. Pacific, 11 p.m. Eastern Time. Danny Danko is the senior cultivation editor for High Times Magazine and uh, joins us on the fourth Friday of every month for this Cultivator's Corner. Danny, I'll see you in a couple weeks, and uh, thanks again for everything you guys are doing. Hey, looking forward to it, Russ. Thank you, too.